Kendrick no, Perkins, no, no, no. Um, bringing back here with Richard <laughs> Jefferson, Tim Legler, Big Perk, and Zach Lowe. So we just hold, heard a whole lot of information from Woj. I just want to start with you, Legs. What of all of that stood out to you? Well, I think a couple of things. First of all, it's, it's almost incomprehensible to me to think that like those two guys could end up together again. When you want out, you want out, right? Kevin Durant is not very appealing to situation that's played out in Brooklyn. In fact, this has to go down as one of the most epic failures in the history of this league, does it not? I mean, that was a surefire championship on paper when those three guys came on together. Paper. And that's what I'm saying. It was, it was the most unguardable offensive trio in the history of this league at the top of any roster. And look what they have to show for it now as they break it up. So it's interesting to me to see what's going to happen. I'm almost as, just as interested to see what's going to happen with Kyrie Irving. Yeah. I mean, where is Kyrie Irving left in this in terms of his value around the league and what you'd be willing to give up to get a guy like Kyrie Irving now? Yeah. After, after what's played out the last few years. No, and, and again, I know this is, you know, Kevin Durant and it's all, all of the things that we're talking about. But, you know, when you look at this situation, do you really think that, oh, this is one of the most epic failures? And again, yes, right now it looks super intense. The Nets had a ton of talent and they built it up. They brought in two guys, and they gave control uh, to those two guys. And I don't want to say complete control, but they gave a certain amount of control, as a lot of star teams do. A lot of and people are like, "This is what happens when you give it to the players." And you're like, "I've seen franchises be ruined by team, by teams, by management, by coaches. I've seen them ruined by everybody." So let's not just start saying here, "Oh, you can't give players control." That's not true. You just have to make sure who you give control to who right. you are taking that, advice that's from. the big thing that's the, the big the thing who. let's 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 focus on well who. we can talk about a very specific who let, let, in this let's case. focus on the who <laughs> because the but, who is very relevant but, but to your point yes was this team have a ton of talent but when you look at the talent and you're saying oh all the talent but everyone on this panel knows talent ain't the only thing that wins championships it's chemistry it's basketball iq and it's availability and these are things that the nets were lacking i don't think obviously we know they weren't lacking talent but chemistry obviously wasn't there all of the things that they needed to be in that pot wasn't there and we can say well it was Kyrie it was this and I heard you talking about Sean Marks Sean Marks built up a team brought in stars stars did not behave the way they should and now they're moving on I think that for as the way I look at Sean Marks he's doing everything right because if the Nets do this right they have two routes one they can farm and destroy any team and pull everything back the second thing they will be a playoff team, in my opinion, next season if they do this correctly. With the you, departures of Kevin Durant yes, and Kyrie you Irving, go what get about an with Ben? Let's say hypothetically you can trade for Brandon Ingram. Let's say hi, uh, let's say hypothetically you can get Brandon Ingram a pick and two young players, and then you can ship off Kyrie. If you have Brandon Ingram, who's a star, like just I'm, I'm throwing out. Sorry, Brandon, I'm just throwing out your name ideally. But if you put all of these guys together, don't forget they made the playoffs. Without KD and Kyrie, with young guys that were fighting and all pushing in the but same direction. But they had James Harden. No, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 you mean no, before. Before, before? Yeah, with Karis LeVert and Jared Allen. Yes, they, and, yes, and D'Angelo yes, Russell. Yes, yes, yes. And it's like they made the postseason before. So if you can, all that talent that you shipped away, if you bring in quality pieces, a young all-star, a top ten pick, if right. you bring that all in with what you're yes. asking for. Yeah, but yeah, that's fine. It's a lot of ifs, but like Leg said, it still was a failure. Yeah, it was a failure. No matter how Wait, you want to slice it, it yeah, yeah, but no, no matter no matter how you want to slice it or dice it, he no matter they had to pick a new coach. They got rid of Kenny Atkinson. I didn't think he deserved to lose his job. No. They bought in Steve Nash. Sean Marks had to okay that as much as KD and Kyrie had power, he still had to approve that. He still had to sign Steve Nash. He had to still bring him back following. Yeah, and year you know what year. he also did? Okay. He also re-signed Kevin Durant. Okay. And now they're about to get the whole yeah, farm and he also, for him back. And he also lost James Harden. He's also about to lose Kevin Durant, who's arguably the best player in the game today. So I'm not saying Listen to me. I'm not saying that it's the, all the blame is on Sean Marks, but he should have some of the blame. Everyone I just, I just well, you, that's what I'm saying. You're going to get some of I just want to pause. Everybody. I want to pause for one second. Let's Please. just pause and take a breath. Kendrick Perkins just said, <sighs> could the Nets buy out Kyrie Irving? And it wasn't a ridiculous question. That's the territory of insanity <laughs> we are in right now. Number That's a good work if you number, can get it. Let me go do nothing for my 39 million and negotiate down a little bit and then go hit free agency and go where I want to go anyway. Number my two, goodness. Legs just said what I wanted to say, which is like the whole NBA just watched what happened. Yes. 
Why would I give up my whole team to pair Kyrie Irving and Kevin Durant? No I just one. watched this movie. If, if, I know if how it ended. Guys, I saw if, those, if these two guys went to Don't. almost almost any, there's probably about, let's we say, just two, thir saw what two happened. thirds of the franchises. If, if this would have gone on and you would have had a vaccine mandate, you would have had injuries, you would have had all of yes. this stuff, the, the same scenario would have happened almost anywhere. It wasn't a crazy question. No, 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 it wasn't. That's, one, that, that, but that's what makes it. You. But that's you what makes it so wild. The third thing. The third thing I wanted to say is I'm glad we said Jared Allen's name, Jared Allen's name, because that also throws into relief. Like, just let's just remember why Kenny Atkinson got fired or lost his job or whatever terminology they use. A big part of it was he refused to start DeAndre Jordan over yes. Jared over Allen. Over the guy that was an all-star the next year. Over the guy who now we're looking at Sometimes as the Cavs as being a real back, threat to be a riser in the Sit news. back and, and just like look at the rubble of this and just how ridiculous. So I'm with you. Like, why why I just what am, am I supposed to call them and be like, hey guys, yes. I know it, I know it failed in Brooklyn. Do you promise yeah, it's right. going to work? To, no. you promise One thing I want to say is I, I, I really want to say how I want to echo what Richard said. If the Nets handle this situation right, particularly with Kevin Durant and what they get, they're going to be a, a playoff team next year. They should be a yep. playoff team next year. The concept of, oh, let's just get a bunch of picks and some younger guys that haven't established themselves, I don't think that's what Steve Nash was brought in to coach. Yeah. That type of team. He's gonna, they're going to try to get back all-stars in their 20s, probably a couple of them, and picks. And then you can go and you can compete, not going to be a contender, but you can compete for a playoff spot in the Eastern Conference for sure. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.